Hello everyone. I wanted to show everyone the uh, new dry cell we're doing and show everyone the capabilities of it. First of all, I want to go over a little bit about how it's built. Um, it measures about seven inches across and about nine inches tall. And it's about almost two inches thick. And inside of it, there's 13 plates. Two of the plates are positive and two of the plates are back here are negative. This is a high efficiency hydrogen generator. It is equipped with 40 amp relay and 30 amp circuit breaker. So if you do go over 30 amps with this, it'll cut the power off. It has two positive leads going into the cell instead of one, and two negatives. One here, and one here. This cuts down on any heat that may be generated on the uh, terminals. This cell runs great at about 25 amps. Uh, it can be pushed to 30 amps without any uh, any adverse effects on the on the cell itself. Um, up top here, we've got our reservoir. Has an easy fill cap, it's sealed it's two inch cap. Our gas comes out right here. And this would go to the engine. Now these tubes down here, we've got one tube coming out of the top of the generator. What it does is it takes the HHO and the water up the tube and into the reservoir tank. And in the reservoir tank, hydrogen will bubble to the top and exit through this hose to the engine. For this hose here, this hose is full of water and it circulates the water down through the bottom. And what this does is it makes a circulating pattern through the reservoir. This acts to keep the water cooler. Also, I wanted to go over the relay. What the relay allows you to do is it allows you to run a wire to the inside of your car and put a switch on it. And the switch is a low voltage switch. All the switch does is energize the relay. And through the relay, your high voltage comes through into the cell. This enables us to use a smaller switch and not have to run the high current in, in through the passenger compartment of the car. Okay, we're going to do, uh, do a test on this to show you how much it produces as far as HHO in liters per minute. Let me get this test set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the generator cranked up to about, looks like right even 20 amps. I'm going to show everyone the production of it. See down in there, but there's the HHO bubbling up from the generator. All right, now what we're going to do is I've got the got a two liter, that's a liter and a half bottle in a cylinder, and we're going to fill the bottle with the HHO and on the way up it's got marks telling me how many milliliters it's producing. We're going to test this cell for 30 seconds. We'll give you an idea of what this cell can produce. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and start the test. 
cannot hold on to the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and start this and then pick the camera up and show you what's going on. Okay, here we go. Alright, we're going to run this for 30 seconds. Give it a measurement. About 650. That is 650 milliliters in 30 seconds. That's times two because it's 30 seconds. It gives us 1300 milliliters a minute or 1.3 liters per minute. And like I said again, we are at about 20 amps. Um, looks like about 10.2 volts. So in your car, this unit would actually be running about 13.4 to 13.7 volts, which would give you a little bit more production in the car. We're looking at about 1.4, maybe 1.5 liters per minute in the car, and your amps will probably be around 25, 27 amps inside of a car. Okay, now we're going to have just a little bit of fun. I'm going to show you how flammable hydrogen is. Hydrogen burns a hundred times faster than gasoline and four times hotter. That's a lot of production. I'm going to show you now how flammable hydrogen really is. Wow, that gives you some kind of idea. It actually hurts my ears. So there you have it. It's the new dry cell. You can read more about this dry cell at hydrogenko.com. All their information on the cell will be up there on that website. Again, it's hydrogenko.com. I want to thank everyone for watching.